हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा थ्री सिक्सटी दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर टू पार्ट टू क्लियर पार्ट टू अर्लियर बेसिकली वी हैव डिस्कस पार्ट वन दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर टू पार्ट टू वेट अ मिनट चैप्टर नंबर टू पार्ट टू क्लियर इन दिस सेशन बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बेसिकली वी हैव टू डिस्कस द बॉन्ड वैल्यू विथ सेमी एनुअल इंटरेस्ट फर्स्ट थिंग बेसिकली विच वी हैव टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन दैट इज बेसिकली बॉन्ड वैल्यू विथ सेमी एनुअल इंटरेस्ट second one basically we have to discuss the current yield third point basically we have to discuss the yield to maturity on bond clear these three points basically we have to discuss in our today session clear very very important for the examination point of view definitely basically you will get two to three questions basically from these points so let's start our discussion on the basis of that so first thing basically which we have to discuss that is bond value with the semi annual installment clear that is bond value with the semi annual interest that is basically we can say that half yearly so here what we say that basically if the bond carries a semi annual interest as the amount of the half yearly interest can be reinvested clear if a bond carries a semi annual interest as the amount of the half year interest basically can be reinvested so the value of such bonds <coughs> the value of such bonds basically would be more than the value of bonds with an annual interest payment clear that the basically bond having semi annual interest clear basically have more value clear have more value then the value of the bond basically with an annual interest payment clear basically with respect to then the value of the bonds basically with an annual interest payment clear basically the value of the bond basically with an annual interest payment clear so hence by multiplying the number of years to the maturity by 2 and dividing the annual interest payment and the discount rate by 2 clear so in the semi annual interest or the half yearly what we have to do basically time is equal to multiplied by 2 annual interest payment we can say that the annual interest rate it is to be basically divided by 2 and coupon rate or the discount rate it is also divided by the 2 okay so these are the things basically which we have to remember so same thing basically we have to solve one question on the basis of that like last time basically we have discussed one question similar type of question we have to discuss in this session also so let's start our discussion on the basis of that question so here what it says that here it says that basically a bond whose par value is rupees 1000 clear it basically bond whose par value it is rupees 1000 that is basically we can say that the face value bears a coupon rate of 12% clear so how much coupon rate basically it bears bears a coupon rate of 12% payable semi annually clear basically bears a coupon rate that is of 12% that is basically payable semi annually and has a maturity period of 3 years clear and has a maturity period of 3 years so the required rate of return on the bond is 10% so what is the value of this bond clear so what is the value of this bond clear so last time basically what we have discussed present value is equal to future value upon 1 plus r power n plus a upon r into 1 plus r power n minus 1 upon 1 plus r power n so here this one it comes out to basically 1000 R here is equal to they have given ten percent, so we will divide it by two, so it comes out to basically five percent. So one plus point zero five, how many years basically three? But it is a semi annual, so basically it is to be multiplied by two. Power six plus a. What is the value of a here? It is to be twelve percent of one thousand. One twenty. But it is to be semi-annual, so basically we will divide it by two also, so it comes out to be sixty. Okay, sixty upon point zero five 
प्लस वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पावर सिक्स माइनस वन अपॉन वन प्लस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पावर सिक्स क्लियर सो इन दिस वे बेसिकली वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड क्लियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन और कैलकुलेशन सो वन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पावर सिक्स वन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पावर सिक्स सो इट कम्स आउट टू बेसिकली हेयर इट कम्स आउट टू बेसिकली सेवन फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू वन फाइव क्लियर फर्स्ट थिंग बेसिकली फर्स्ट पोर्शन वी आर एबल टू गेट दैट इज सेवन फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन टू फाइव now we have to move to the second portion clear now next we have to move to the second portion so now this one plus 60 upon 5 into 100 in the bracket 1.05 power 6 minus 1 it comes out to basically 0.34 upon 1.340095 okay so now let's solve that 746.215 Plus this comes up to twenty, twelve hundred into point three four divided by one point three four double zero nine five into twelve hundred. So it comes out to basically overall it comes out to basically three zero four point four five six. This comes out to basically seven forty six point two one five. So overall, it comes out to basically one zero five zero point six seven. Clear? One zero five zero point six seven. Clear? So this one is the answer here. Clear? So this one is the answer. Here. This is the value of the bond. Clear? Basically, this is the value of the bond. Basically, when it is to be calculated half yearly. Clear? When it is to be calculated half yearly. And last time, basically, when we have calculated basically for yearly, at that time the present value it comes out to basically one zero four nine point four seven. Clear? At that time, this one is the value of the bond, and today basically this one is the value of the bond. Clear? <coughs> As there is basically very little difference, but one thing. Clear? As there is basically very little difference here, but one thing you have to remember that clear this line. The amount of the half yearly interest can be reinvested. The value of such bonds would be more than the value with an annual interest payment. Clear? The value of the semi-annual interest bonds. Clear? The value of the semi-annual interest bond basically would be more than the value of the clear. The value of the semi-annual bond basically would be more than the value of the bonds with an annual interest payment. Clear? Basically, with an annual interest payment. Clear? So please remember this point so that basically you are able to solve the question. And sometimes basically just theoretical based question they will ask in the examination so that you are able to remember the answer in the examination. <clears throat> so what we have to do here? They especially mention that is semi-annually. So coupon we have to divide it by two, which time is basically multiplied by two. Rate of rate, sorry. This rate is also divided by. Just you have to do these three things, and last in the end, basically you have to put the value in this formula so that you are able to solve the answer. Clear? So that you are able to solve the answer. Clear? Just you have to put the value in this formula. Now move to the next question. Clear. Now move to the next portion. What they are asking that is current yield on the bond. Clear. Now next portion, basically, which we have to understand here that is current yield. Clear. Current yield very very important. So what is current yield? Clear. So basically, it measures the rate of return. Clear. So what is current yield? Basically, it measures the rate of return. Basically, earned on a bond. Clear. What is current yield? Basically, it measures the rate of return. Basically, earned on a bond. when basically if it is purchased at its current market price and if the coupon interest is the same clear basically if it purchased at its current market price and if the coupon interest is the same clear that is basically let's again discuss once again it measures the rate of return clear basically earned on a bond if it is purchased at its current market price and the if the coupon interest rate is the same clear so now let's understand basically with the help of the formula so current yield Notation as basically C Y is equal to coupon interest or coupon payment upon current market price. Clear upon current market price. So current yield here comes out to basically coupon interest upon current market price. Let's discuss one question here. For example, if the bond of face value, this one is the face value. It is of rupees one thousand, carrying a coupon interest rate of eight percent. Clear. So basically, how much coupon interest rate basically of eight percent? 
is quoted in the market at rupees 800 clear which is quoted in the market at rupees 800 so then what is the current yield of the bond clear so in with that case basically what is the current yield of the bond clear so face value it is basically 1000 coupon interest rate basically 8 percent clear so 8 percent it is basically of what 8 percent of basically of this value clear of face value clear 8 percent of 8 upon 100 into 1000 it is to be 80 rupees clear it is to be 80 rupees clear so basically we will put current yield is equal to 80 rupees upon current market price clear current yield of the bond this is 80 percent upon this is the market price that is upon 800 so one upon 10 clear so basically one upon 10 or basically we for multiply it by 100 basically to calculate in the percentage clear so it is to be 10 percent clear so it is to be 10 percent clear so what is the current yield of the bond basically it is to be 10 percent clear the current yield of the bond it is to be 10 percent here clear so please remember this formula clear so please remember this formula basically how to solve the question clear how to solve the question just you have to remember first of all this formula current yield is equal to coupon upon current market price clear basically coupon upon current market price coupon basically what is coupon basically it is like they have given in the form of the percentage but here basically we have taken the form of the value clear so basically eight percent eight percent of what that is eight percent of the face value clear eight upon 100 into 1000 1000 it is what basically it is the face value okay so now let's practice one or two more question on the this concept so that basically we are able to understand properly like here one question they have given if you pay rupees 900 and your coupon rate is 12% per year clear and your coupon rate is basically 10% per year so then what is the current yield clear so basically then what is the current yield clear so here directly basically they are asking directly basically they are saying that basically if you pay rupees 900 and coupon rate is 12% clear so here basically they are not mentioning the face value or par value clear here basically at any place they are not mentioning the face value or the par value so how basically we are able to understand basically what is the face value or the par value clear so how basically we are able to understand what is the face value or the par value because this is the market price clear so this is the market price that is basically near to 1000 so the face value here is to be 1000 rupees if they are saying that basically market price is equal to 90 rupees so you will consider the face value it is to be 100 rupees okay just sorry 100 rupees not 1000 just 100 rupees clear so as per the situation clear so as per the required situation basically we will assume the face value clear as per the market price according to that basically we will choose the face value okay so here they are asking basically what is the current yield clear so what is the current yield current yield is simply basically we are able to understand that is current yield is equal to coupon upon market price clear current yield is equal to coupon upon market price clear so what is the value of the coupon here coupon basically 12 percent of the face value it is to 120 upon what is the market price that is basically the rate at which basically you are buying the bond clear the rate basically at which you are purchasing or buying the bond bond that is rupees 900 so it will be divided by 900 clear so it will be divided by 900 clear so 120 divided by 900 clear so it comes out to basically 0.1333 so 13.33 percent clear 13.33 percent that is basically known as the current yield clear that is basically known as the current yield clear so current yield basically in this case it is to basically 13.33 hope you are able to understand this point clear so what they are saying that basically if you pay rupees 900 clear that is basically you are paying rupees 900 basically for purchasing the bond that is market price so the face value <coughs> so here the bond basically it is that discount we can say that so the face value of the bond it is to be rupees of 1000 clear and if they are saying that basically you are paying rupees 90 so according to that the face value it is to be rupees 100 so as per the required case clear so as per the required case basically the face value it is to be going to change clear if they are not mentioning in the question on the other hand if they are saying that basically you are paying rupees 9800 
so in that case basically we will not take 1000 the face value basically we will take 10000 the face value clear so in that case basically we will take the 10000 as the face value clear so depending upon the situation clear depending upon the situation basically we will take the face value clear now move to the next question question number next is basically a six year bond now here they are mentioning basically the six year bond duration with the face value that is basically par value that is basically we can say that 1000 it is to be 1000 and further in this case basically they are mentioning that is current yield is equal to 7.5 percent so face value it is to be 1000 so coupon rate here they are given 8 percent coupon rate 8 percent so what is the value of the coupon 8 percent of what face value so coupon here it is to be rupees 80 clear so in this case the value of the coupon here is to be rupees 80 so current yield they have mentioned that is basically we know that basically current yield is equal to coupon upon market price of the bond so coupon here basically that is 7.5 percent clear we can say that 7.5 upon 100 or simply we can say that 0 0.075 is equal to coupon coupon here is to 80 upon market price so market price in the end we can say that it is equal to 80 upon 0 0.075 so market price here comes to 80 divided by 0 0.075 it comes out to basically 1066 0.67 clear market price basically comes out to basically 1066.67 clear so basically this is the bond price clear this is also known as the bond price clear bond price or the market price clear hope this point it is clear to all of you that is basically duration of the bond is six years with the par value or the face value it is to rupees 1000 and a current yield of 7.5 percent clear basically from the current yield basically we are able to calculate the value of the bond clear or basically we are able to calculate the value of the bond price clear what is bond price basically we are able to calculate basically from this formula hope this formula is clear to all of you now move to the next concept that is yield to maturity of the bond clear this is basically the name of the chapter also that is ytm clear that is ytm yield to maturity clear so in this session basically we will discuss the basic concept of the yield to maturity and in the next session basically we will practice some more question on the basis of that clear and basically we will take two more sessions on this chapter so that basically we will practice more and more questions clear so that you are able to understand all the points after that some practice questions will be also provided in the group so that you can do also practice properly now here what they are saying that basically yield to maturity <coughs> So basically what is yield to maturity basically it is the rate of return earned by an investor clear basically it is the rate of return basically earned by an investor who purchases a bond clear so basically it is the rate of return earned by an investor basically who purchases a bond and hold it until the maturity clear that the bond is to be hold basically till the maturity so basically what is ytm basically yield to maturity basically it is the discount rate which equals the present value of promised cash flows basically to the current market price or the purchase price clear so basically it is represented in the form of the percentage clear basically it is represented in the form of the percentage that's why they are saying that basically it is the discount rate clear so the ytm basically it is the discount rate which equals clear the ytm basically it is the discount rate which equals the present value clear basically which equals the present value of promised cash flows clear basically which equals the present value of promised cash flows to the current market price or the purchase price clear basically to whom basically to the current market price or the purchase price clear so now basically we have to understand this with the help of the formula just you have to remember in the examination that is ytm is equal to <coughs> coupon plus face value minus market price upon n is equal to face value plus market price upon okay here c is the coupon fv is equal to the face value mp is equal to the market price and here is equal to the duration of the bond clear and here is equal to the
clear here and basically what is and basically and here is equal to the duration of the bond clear and here is basically is equal to the duration of the bond clear so now let's discuss one or two questions on the basis of that after that basically we will discuss more question in the next session or we will discuss all the question basically available in the book book also clear so now basically first question <clears throat> like if you buy a bond basically at rupees 1136.16 clear that is the market price clear that is the market price so basically i am already tell you if this is the market price clear so what is the face value <clears throat> so we know that the face value it is to basically near about that basically that is 1000 rupees and you get a coupon of basically 100 rupees time is equal to n here is equal to 3 years coupon here is equal to 100 rupees so coupon rate we know that basically it is to be 10% clear sometime basically they will ask in the question what is the coupon rate so basically it is to be 10% clear 10% clear so now what is the ytm ytm basically we know that c plus future value minus market price upon n clear future value minus market price upon n upon future value plus market price upon 2 100 plus future value here is equal to 1000 minus market price that is 1136.16 upon 3 upon 1000 plus 1136.16 upon 2 clear so this is the formula basically which we have to put here so let's move further 100 1000 minus 1136.16 divided by 3 so it comes out to basically minus 45.38 upon 1136.16 plus 1000 divided by 2 so it comes out to basically 1068.08 so 100 minus 45.38 divided by 1068.08 so it comes out to here basically 0 0.0511 percent so in the we can say that basically 0 0.0511 clear so we can say that 5.11 percent clear so 5.11 percent clear so what is that basically it is the yield to maturity clear basically it is the yield to maturity clear so we have to remember all these things how to solve this question just you have to remember this formula of item is equal to coupon plus face value minus market price upon n divided by face value plus market price by two clear so this is the formula basically which you have to remember that <clears throat> ytm is equal to coupon plus face value minus market price upon n upon face value plus market price by two clear this is the formula basically which you have to implement here. okay so hope it is clear to all of you in the next session basically we will discuss some more question on this concept clear on this concept and basically we have to practice some more question and we will understand some more new concepts clear in the next session hope it is clear to all of you and i request to all of you please go through session once again so that you are able to understand all the points so thanks to all of you for joining this session keep sharing this video basically with your friends also so that maximum to maximum students gain the benefit of these classes so thanks to all of you for joining this session